today I've been asked to show you guys what's inside my bag. Not a euphemism. It's the best thing to happen to me in 2013. This basically is the secret to this. Oh. Much better. So this is my bag. It's faded gold because I got it like five years ago in the uh, River Island cell, which is embarrassing. Clearly I was like 12. Let's have a little look. My iPad. It's the best thing to happen to me in 2013. And it's just so cool. And if the technology wasn't enough, I have a glittery case, which is probably, you know, not necessarily the most masculine thing I have in my bag, but we'll get to that. And it's the best thing ever. And I'm sure you know what like an iPad is, but I can do everything on it and I love it. See you later. Next up, it's very cold outside, guys, so you'll be getting chap lips like me. This is um, Japanese lip balm. This doesn't only cover your lips and leave them chapped. It actually sort of does a good job and I don't sort of keep reaching in my bag for it all the time. Oh. Much better. I'm actually quite a serious reader. Jokes aside, I um, love going to the library and picking out books that sort of play with my mind and take me to a different place that I can really escape to that's quite thought provoking. So on the tube at the moment, I'm reading a new book. I've probably been reading it for about three weeks, but I'm nearly there. It's um, Boo, the little dog in the big city. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it's really good. I won't spoil the story on for you entirely, but basically it's about a dog who's the cutest dog in the world and he goes on an adventure in a really big city, but I don't know what happens at the end. I think, I think he dies, but I'm not there yet. Now I'm gonna basically take you guys to the gym. I actually carry around with me this, which might look like just a bit of plastic, but actually it's a power ball. This basically is the secret to this. It um, tones pretty much everywhere. It kind of feels like you're holding a small universe that's trying to creep out of your hand. And it's like, you've got to keep it locked in and so it, it tenses everywhere. <laughs> what else is in my bag? Not much. This which I don't have quite such strong emotions to, like my iPad, my phone. Um, I asked these guys if I could borrow one of their iPhones and pretend that was mine and that apparently wasn't okay. So the truth is I have this Samsung Galaxy, which was like 60 pounds and it shows because it hangs up when I'm halfway through the conversations with people. Call me O2. And I've got the obvious, which isn't very interesting. I've got some VO5 Extreme style matte clay, which is pretty self-explanatory, it's style matte clay, obviously. Well, there you go, everyone. You've seen what's inside my bag. Thrilling, wasn't it? Make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. And if there's anybody else's bag that you wish to delve into, let me know. Thanks so much. Mwah. Hi, my name's Shannon from Shannon Louise Vintage, and this is my lookbook. Hi guys, I'm Coco, Sexiest Dog Alive, and latest addition to the Fashion Tag team in London's Carnaby. I got them from office last year and they cost me about £40, which is down from £120, which is an amazing bargain.